So this is going to be a super nerdy tutorial on for people who are just getting into programming. I think that JavaScript is a really good place to start and you can learn um, I'll teach HTML and CSS a little bit on the way and I'm not very good at programming myself but this teaching is going to help me and hopefully I'll learn a lot and maybe you guys will learn something but this tutorial is going to be focused on creating a Yahtzee game from scratch and this is all I have so far I'm almost done with it just the basics of it it's, let me refresh this so you roll and these are your die up here they're just numbers right now and you can hold with the twos and you get three rolls and the roll button disappears and you choose that gets your points I'm not sure why that didn't disappear yeah I'm still working out kinks but uh blah 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 and this is all the code for the CSS HTML and the JavaScript so I guess we'll start from complete scratch assuming that none of you know anything about this. Um, what we're going to do is create a folder to put your CSS, HTML, and um, JavaScript file in. Create a folder. Right now I have these in a folder called Program Bitch. Very appropri appropriately labeled. It's good stuff. So uh, I guess we'll create another one. Just call it Tutorial. And um, I'm on a Mac, so I use Text Wrangler for um, for all this coding. On a PC, you would use Notepad++, I would assume. And, okay, so we're going to want to create a new text document. We'll start with the HTML. So go ahead and just save this as... tutorial.html. If you do .html, it'll save and color code according to HTML. And put that in the folder that you created on your desktop, I guess. And you're going to want to do that for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And for those of you who don't know what any of those words mean, HTML is basically the layout of your page, you have a we'll look at this. You have a head, a body, and paragraphs, and this is where you put in your buttons and checkboxes and whatnot. And then the cascade style sheet is how you organize that. So you organize it by pixels and all that good stuff. And the JavaScript is the coding, which I guess you could say it's the calculator almost this uh, calculates, it tells what tells the buttons what they should do and calculates accordingly like for Yahtzee it'll check to see if the all the uh, numbers on the dies are the same and it will add 50 points if you choose to um, press that button when you get a Yahtzee so okay back to the HTML, we're going to create a CSS Just save that as tutorial.css, save that in the same folder and then create a JavaScript file tutorial.js that's the extension for that and save. And now that you're set up, I guess I'll end this tutorial and we will continue on another one because I don't know where to go from here yet. See ya.